So today we are talking about how you take the great fellow Ode brew grinder from a good grinder to an amazing grinder. What's up everybody? Hope you're doing awesome out there. Welcome back to another Coffee Nerd video. I'm once again joined by this handsome coffee nerd here and also my brother-in-law, Nolan. Hello. So today we are talking about the Fellow Ode Brew Grinder. Now, if you are into coffee at all, um, you've probably heard of the Fellow Ode Brew Grinder. It came out a couple years ago and it was like a highly anticipated grinder. And for the money, it's a really great grinder. However, the stock burrs in this leave a little to be desired. To upgrade the burrs in this Ode right here, we're gonna be using the brand new Gorilla Gear Black 64 millimeter flat burrs that just came out. I think we have a challenger here. We have a challenger? We have a challenger. So we have dun, dun, another dun. Ode. <laughs> and we also have the Red Speed SSP burrs. Whoa. One reason why most people don't care for the stock burrs necessarily in the Ode isn't because they're bad burrs. They're actually really good burrs. The problem with them is they don't quite go fine enough to properly extract or extract really well a single cup of coffee. These burrs seem to be better for larger batches of coffee like 25, 30, 40 grams of coffee at a time, which would be like a multi-cup you know, multi situation if you had friends and family you're making coffee for. But for a single cup, which is again, primarily what I do most of the time, and I think what Nolan does most of the time, and what a lot of coffee nerds out there are doing most of the time is single cup brewing. Um, they just don't quite get fine enough to be able to properly extract. And so upgrading the burrs can really make a huge difference. You're able to, to grind much finer and able to get much better, higher extractions with a single cup. I like the packaging. Why does it always feel like when you're doing something with packaging, you have to like have your fingers spread wide apart? Like, I'm an idiot. So the SSP has what they call a red speed coating on it, which is to help reduce friction. It also uh, increases the lifespan and the hardness of the materials, which is basically the same as the Gorilla Gears. These are using a black diamond uh, coating on stainless steel and basically the same thing on um, Gorilla Gears website. They last four to five times longer. One other thing that's really cool with these is that these come pre-seasoned. Mm -hmm. So they do some sort of a process during the manufacturing where they basically pre-season the burrs. Mm -hmm. um, and basically what that means is sort of like a break-in period. Yeah. So with these, there is really no break-in period. You can go right to grinding and getting great cups of coffee. Um, you can also go right to grinding and get great cups of coffee with the SSPs as well, but these have about a five to 10 pounds of coffee sort of seasoning break-in period before they're really grinding at their optimal point, but they still are gonna grind phenomenal and be way better than stock burrs right out of the gate. Yeah. And five to 10 pounds for a coffee nerd and guys like us is not that long to yeah. break in a grinder. I mean, so far these bad boys have only seen about 100 grams. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still got a little ways to go for that. What we're gonna do is grind and brew a cup of coffee with the stock burrs. And then we are gonna swap over to the Gorilla Gears and the SSP. And we'll kind of compare the three cups of coffee, you know, Science. We're set as fine as possible with the stock burrs just barely off of chirp. This is as fine as you can get with the stock burrs. I don't even know why I teared it. I still have to put the coffee in it and tear it. I've already got a filter uh, pre-rinsed well, here. Now you can see if there was retention. Oh, great point. Big brain. Science. Boom, grams 12 on grams on the dot. I should probably have some water and a kettle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just like the first cup of coffee, we are using 12 grams of this delicious natural Rwanda from Pear Cup Works. RDT. <laughs> she gets so aggressive. She's gonna get, get every coating. I like the intense eye contact you made. I'm just so excited to have some coffee right now. I'm like, I oh. haven't had any today either. Did you get 
Enough, you think? I think so. <laughs> Jesus. I think this is a good idea for a video. This is a fantastic idea for a video. We get to drink coffee I know. and talk about coffee Plenty here. Of coffee. I mean, I'm sure we sound like idiots, but probably that's kind of get some stuff cleaned up here, and then we'll do our taste test. We've got stock Gorilla SSP. It's good. Um, to me, there's like a little bit of a sourness to it, there's almost a, like an under extracted. There is a little bit to me. I, I, yeah. I, I do taste the same. It's still tasty. It's drinkable. So, yeah. I'm not super pleased with it, but again, that's part of the problem with the stock burrs. Mm. So this is the Gorillas. Mm. Wow. Yeah. More body. It's yeah. like more of silkiness. The, the, the mouthfeel immediately was yeah. different. This is like thinner. Delicious. These are both really good. They're yeah. very, very close. Very close. I would say, to me, the gorillas have a little bit more body. Mm -hmm. I would say that the body of this is like, like directly in between, like the stock and the gorillas. Some people prefer a thinner, more tea-like coffee, which I would think, I feel like the SSPs probably lean a little bit more that way. They're really close. I, I, yeah. The gorilla is like a little more citrusy, mm -hmm. sort of. And this is like a little more almost like, like better balance. Yeah. Like overall balance. That's kind of where I was going to go with that. Like, I feel like how I, like flavor wise, I feel like this one's just like a tad better if I had to pick between like which one does taste better right now. I would say that these Dude. two absolutely, the, yeah, this, the, it's good, it's not the, bad. I'm not trying to discourage anybody from buying an ode and leaving the stock burrs in it, because they are good burrs, but you're gonna get so much better results. I mean, you're basically taking a $300 grinder and making it a thousand plus dollar grinder, in my opinion. For me, and I don't know if it's just bias, because I have the Gorillas, but I, I kind of like the Gorillas a little bit more. I like a little bit more of a silkier kind of body. I don't, I don't mind coffees when they're a little thinner and more tea-like. Um, and, and uh, but I, I like a little bit more body to them. But with that, the clarity is not as, as good. I think the SSP, the clarity of the SSP burrs is good in the overall flavor. But I like the body and I like the little bit fruitier, a little bit more citrusy, acidicness of the Gorilla Gears. This is very satisfying in my mouth if that makes sense or doesn't yeah. sound too creepy. It's just like, it's it's just a good feeling, you know? Yeah. It's, it's good. I would not be upset to get coffee from either one of these burrs. Like mm. if I got either one of these cups mm. at a shop or whatever, uh, like- You have that burr. No, yeah, yes. these are both fantastic. Burr snob. I don't know how you could go wrong with either one. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could really pick a clear winner. I, I think they're both fantastic. All right, well, we've been rambling a lot about this and I don't know that there's much else to say other than if you want to take your ode to the next level and experience your coffees uh, on a much higher level, mm -hmm. much better flavors, much more clarity with the S SSPs, a little bit more body with the Gorilla Gears, can't go wrong with either one, I don't think. No. With that being said. Man, we're awkward sometimes. <laughs> we should have planned better. We should have planned something out better know, like for what we wanted to like the Lucy Goosey is kind of nice though, because then we get some good content and then like, we have like the idiotic stuff and- We're like, really good at that part of it. Yeah, the bloopers. We have nailed the idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. We'll see you on the next video.